Hello everyone, this is Thomas Kincaid. You know, there has been one element over the years that has really intrigued me as an artist and as a human being, and that element is time. Now, if you think about it, our lives are an interesting paradox because each moment of our lives is the dividing point between two eternities. On the one hand, you have the eternity of the past, and then you have the eternity of the future and we stand at the center point between those two eternities what a fascinating idea to grapple with as an artist my new painting clock tower cottage is an attempt to celebrate this very mysterious element of time in the painting we see references to the passing of time now i am painfully aware of the passing of the years because as a parent I watch the years unfold through my children. In my painting, the element of time is suggested by a number of elements. On the one hand, we have the very long-lasting element of time as exemplified by the rolling hills and the stream which carves the rolling hills, revealing the bedrock below. The cottage that is so picturesque is almost a document of the passing of the years. Look at the way the structure itself seems to sag the swaying in the main ridge beams and the sense of settledness as the cottage almost appears to grow into the landscape to me suggests time the clock tower itself is a symbol of the passing of time each moment is documented by the ticking of the clock and the sweeping of the hands of the clock the bell itself rings out to announce the heralding of a new day. We have elements of the passing of time that suggest longevity, the large copper beech tree which grows up spreading its branches to provide shade. Below the tree are annual flowers that spring up with each new year and then die off again as the year draws to a close. Even more ephemeral types of foliage are evident. Look at the mushrooms that spring up almost overnight only to die again as the sunlight hits them. Of course, not all elements of time are so short-lived. We have the sense of the sculpture of St. Francis, which itself has outlasted its namesake. And the sculpture itself, perhaps, though carved of stone, will not last forever. We begin to see that it too will crack and break down over the years. I really enjoyed creating the clouds within this painting. And there's a sense of wispiness as the clouds come, perhaps the ultimate element of the passing of times, because you see clouds can emerge quickly and then disappear just as quickly. Each day provides the miracle of creation as it unfolds again in a fresh way. Each morning, God's blessings are new, and each evening, it draws to close with thankfulness for another day well spent. The passing of time is also documented in the suggestions of the family that lived here. Now this is the largest cottage painting I've ever done of a single cottage. The original painting is 24 by 36 inches and I put immense amount of detail into this painting as I worked. I wanted to capture the suggestion that a family lived here and that the painting documented the lifetime of that family. We see elements within the painting to suggest a family's life the swing which sits idly by. Perhaps a family still has small children to swing in the sunshine, or perhaps they themselves have grown older. The fountain is a quiet place to rest and enjoy the morning sunshine, but it too suggests that the water that flows is there today and may be gone tomorrow. Well, time is a mystery, but as an artist, I am very aware that I want to use my time wisely to create works that hopefully have meaning to other people. I like to think of it this way. A painting is, in a way, a time traveler. These paintings will go into people's homes and be present in that home throughout their entire life and will carry on a message of hope and joy for generations to come. Just think how wonderful it is to try in some small way to make the world a brighter place. That can be our legacy, not just during our lifetime, but in the years and generations to come. God bless you, and thanks.
for sharing the light.